I want to share something. It's it's really something quite private, and uh, it might not even be proper for me to share it. But there's a purpose sharing, and since it's it's done in a, an anonymous way, I think there's I don't think there's any issue with it. Um, to be honest, I you know some folks were upset at me about the video, which Baruch Hashem was very popular, almost six thousand views, maybe by now, by now it's over six thousand about this uh, film, One of Us. And um, there was a sheer that got very popular popular from my Rebbe from, from high school, and Moshe Weinberger. So, because I'm listening to sheer from him now, but I just had a service to share this, even though a good friend of mine's calling me now, but I, I want to make this video. I think it's important. Um, and the, there was a clip that was going on that was very popular from Rabbi Weinberger, where he's talking about, uh, you know, uh, how we have to love, you know, the kids who are out in the street and have to be car of them and we can't throw them away. And uh, it's wrong for the teachers and, and the parents to throw away these very holy, wonderful kids. And, and it's, it's wrong for us to have high expectations when Avram Avinu wasn't perfect and David Melech wasn't perfect, and these very people who are struggling religiously have the potential really to be the next Avram Avinu or David Melech, the next leaders, the next great people, even greater than than some of these rabbis who can speak and so forth. And uh, I, I shared this with someone who I'm trying to help out, who had a very difficult situation in their life, and who grew up in, in a very Hasidic community. And uh, it seems that they're making a decision to leave, and, you know, and, and I'm trying to be supportive of them, who they are to make their own decisions as adults, and uh, to educate, and, and to try to, to uh, minister to them where they are and with what they need. And um, I showed them this clip from Rabbi Weinberger. And uh, and I agree with Rabbi Weinberger, but then I I, I think it's very important to hear this. Um, and this is a person who's very intelligent, very worldly. I have a lot of respect for this person. Um... And I, and I believe, like Rabbi Weinberger said, that this person has the potential for leadership qualities, despite all the troubles that they went through. Um, and they're still going through. And I showed them this video, and, 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 and this person said they were very impressed with the feelings and everything that Rabbi Weinberger put in everything. But they have one issue. Why are you blaming parents and teachers? This person said, I have the best parents and the best teachers. They're supportive and loving. But I have an illness. And that's why I did to myself what I did. And I, I can't blame my parents and my teachers. And, you know, I think when you look back at this video, this film, you see the one who's, uh, of course... If people are being abused, the abusers have to be blamed. But people make up this whole nonsense that we cover up for abusers. The only people who are really covered up for are people who are falsely accused of abuse 99% of the time. Once in a while, maybe a real abuser fools people, but for the most part, we kick out the real abusers. Um, you know, I, I know one case recently, someone who they lost their whole life because, of, you know, and uh, and and they deserve to, um, because they were abusing people. Not and, and, you know, and if they were just making mistakes, personal mistakes it, with consenting adults, a different story. I, I, as far as I know, this person wasn't involved with children, Baruch Hashem. But still, uh, the, but the, they they crossed the line, and it's a problem, you know. So anyway, that's not the point I want to make here. If there's abuse, it has to be addressed. But, like, you know, you see this, the lady in this movie. 
I don't believe that the judge would be protecting a, a non-Jewish judge is going to be protecting an abuser just because quote unquote the Hasidic community is so strong politically that, do, that doesn't happen, that's not true if anything it's just the opposite the judge is going to be more on the side of the secular one because, because the, the, you know if, if, uh, in many many cases um, but but uh, but the fact is that this is a case of abuse. If it was really abuse, the judge wouldn't stand for that. What's obvious is that this person must be mentally ill. Or I'm not saying they're lying and that they're malicious. They're sick and they need counseling and they need help. Maybe they need to be in the hospital or something. That doesn't mean they have to. They shouldn't ever see their kids. But it seems that there's obviously a problem. The other one, the other two, they're very obvious. They're they're open about their struggles and their mental illness and so forth and the the young man who all right maybe the mental illness comes from the abuse that he suffered um you know and 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 uh, but he showed how this one who abused him is on a wanted list and is is gonna get in trouble someday you know and, and how the community is not protecting him you know because the community itself is going and putting him on a a, a bad guy list you know so, um, you know, it, it's not, to, so it, this is a person who's leaving the community who says it's not the community's fault, it's mental illness. And, uh, and it's a very intelligent person, and I think they're right. And uh, if you learn more about psychology and mental illness, there's no stigma in mental illness, you know. And you see in the movie even the, the father of the young boy, he's very supportive of him. He's, and he's saying, you know, we want to see you be successful, you know. And that's how it should be, you know. And so that's what has to be addressed is really the mental illness in the community and, and all over in the, in the whole country, you know. And, of course, abuse has to be prosecuted when it really happens. But the problem is when people make up f fake stories, you know. I mean, I know people, I know people who are real abusers who, because they got away with a plea bargain, they get away with five years, and people who are innocent who refuse to perjure themselves, refuse to play the plea bargain game, and they, and, they, uh, and they get, you know, sentenced to 100 years, to 30 years, to whatever. I mean, something incredible today, because it's the same thing, you know, I, I, was, I had a speeding ticket, so I was offered a plea bargain. So I said, I'll take the plea bargain, you know, I don't want points, I don't want... And the judge wouldn't stand for it. She said, if you're not guilty, you cannot take a plea bargain. And she dismissed the ticket because, for whatever reasons, and, and, you know, I was going to offer last rites, say video with someone, uh, one of my patients, I'm a chaplain, and it was an emergency situation, and, and the ticket was dismissed. And, uh, and that's how it's supposed to be. But, you know, I look, I look at the case in Bloomingburg where Bill Herman committed voter fraud, encouraged people to commit voter fraud, and he got reelected, and Shalom Lamb is thinking uh, he's not going to be able to fight it. There's so much, you know, uh, even though he knows he's innocent. And so he made a plea bargain, you know. And that's, uh, you know, because that's unfortunately what the system is like. They don't care if you're innocent or guilty. They care if they get a conviction, you know. But uh, I, I really respect this judge tonight who cared about justice. And I, I have tremendous accords of to Kurdish Baruch Hu, and also to the to the judge, uh, uh, tremendous gratitude. I was shocked. I was sure I'd have to pay something. I thought maybe they'd have some leniency in, in the circumstances. Maybe it'd be a low fine, something. But to get it totally dismissed, oh, thank God, this is a, a blessing from heaven. And so I thank God, I, I you know, it, it, she restored my my uh my trust in the justice system so um well, god bless you thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and all the best be well